Elizabeth Troncoso. She's a fan of the show, and she decided to get some advice in person on a new plant that she just bought. So how are you today, Elizabeth? Fine, thank you, Liz. Glad to be here. Well, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. So you just got this new palm. Yes. I uh, watch your show all the time, and I love to be educated and, and entertained at the same time. And I thought now that I have this new palm, I would bring it in so I could get some good helpful hints from you. Oh, well, great. Thank well, I'd be you. glad to give you some helpful hints. I like to see plants grow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know what you have here? I know it's Italian from the name, but I, I don't <laughs> know much, much more than that. Okay, it's called a Phoenix Robolini, also known as a pygmy date palm. And, you know, it can live for years and years if you take good care of it in your home. Wonderful. Now, it does like as far as the light goes, a good bright spot in your house. Not a lot of direct sun, but good bright light. So do you have a place like that for it? I have a western exposure for my plants, and uh, I'm glad you're telling me because I didn't know whether uh, the sun was going to be too bright in that window or not. Well, full afternoon sun directly on it would be a little bit too much. So if you keep it a few feet away from there, it should do really well. Great. I have a lot of plants that will be glad to have another friend next to them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now I'm noticing here that you that some of the roots are exposed. Can you see that? Yes, I can. So what I'm going to advise you to do is to add a little bit of extra potting soil. There's some large roots here that you can see as well as some little hair roots and I think the plant would be a little better off if it had just a little more potting soil and you want to pot it to just about here, right where those roots end. Is this part of the roots right here, these big bulbs that are coming out? No, now this is actually its trunk. So that you don't want to cover up. You'll smother the plant if oh, you do okay. that. Okay. So just cover up these roots that are showing. And also when you water it, all you have to do, it's really simple, is just feel the top of the soil. Just feel in a few places and it should be quite dry. Right now it's pretty moist so you probably won't have to worry about it for a week or so. Good. And then when you do water it, I see it's in a 10 inch pot, you can give it up to two quarts of water. That'll give it a good full soak. Wonderful. Now is this pot okay for this type of plant or a, a clay pot might be better? What would you recommend? Um, this pot's absolutely fine for it. It's not an especially attractive pot. That's correct. <laughs> you may want to cover it up with a basket or another kind of decorative container. Okay. If you do like terracotta or clay, mm -hmm. it could be potted directly into that and that would be fine too. It's really a personal preference. The one thing to note about clay is that plants will dry out a lot faster because the clay breathes. So if you tend to forget about your plants, keeping it in plastic may be a little bit better. Wonderful. Then I might just do that. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Now you also want to mist it occasionally. They do like a little extra um, humidity, it's not absolutely crucial, but it's a really nice thing to do for the plant. Great. That's, we all like a little spray now and then, so that would be <laughs> nice. Thank you. And one thing to watch out mm -hmm. for, mites can get on palms. Now I'm checking this one out here, and it seems to be very clean. I don't see any bugs on it at all. Now what you'll see, if it does have mites, are little white specks, and they'll kind of cluster around the center of the leaf. And then eventually, you'll see webbing all throughout the leaf if you let it go too long. Okay, now if uh, that happens, how would I treat the mites? You can use either safer soap that you can buy just about anywhere, or use some ivory soap mixed in water in a spray bottle and just soak the plant with it. And then a few days later, rinse it off, either outside or in your bathtub. Oh, great. They're really easy to get rid of, but you got to got to get after them. Be persistent, yes. <laughs> now I have cats at home. Will any of this affect my cats? Uh, I don't want to hurt them. I know not to bring in toxic plants. Is this something I have to worry about? No, this is not a toxic plant. Great. Now it may tempt your cats. I know they do like plants that look a little bit grassy like this and sometimes they might bite on the ends. Yes. <laughs> so it actually may be more of a problem for the plant than the cats, but uh, I think that'll be all right. Great. Thank you, Liz. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, and good luck growing your plant. I'm sure thank it'll you. do fine. Well, I need the luck. Thank you very much. I and appreciate that. And thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. <laughs>